Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you with another Green Line unboxing episode, and today we've got Running on Empty Series 13. Uh, this isn't a series I collect too much of, but I think if this is the series I'm thinking of, I did pick up one piece from this and I showed it in a previous Diecast Weekly episode. Uh, that I believe being the Cosworth uh, with, the, I believe it was Texaco livery. Um, so I think we're going to see that in here. We're also going to see, of course, anything else that's in this set. It's a newer set from Greenlight. Hopefully you guys enjoy. We'll go ahead and uh, get it open. And again, of course, this is uh, Die Castrum is my buddy here on YouTube. He helps me out by getting these sent to me. I help him out by forwarding them to him overseas. But he lets me unbox the stuff on the channel. And it is always fun to unbox it, even if I don't collect it, because we could score a chase. Um, and that's, there's always that excitement that's there um, of possibly being able to pull a green machine or whatever their, the chases are. In this particular series, I think they still call them green machines, even if they're raws, whatever. Let's not get too crazy on that. Uh, but let's just look at the cars and uh, see what we got. So, running on empty. If you're not familiar with the series, it's typically going to be like um, eh, petroleum, old school gas station style, you know, type of stuff. Like liveries. So, this one we get STP. There's the, the card art. The card art's kind of cool on these. Uh, it's pretty basic. It's been the same throughout the whole series, which is fine, but uh, very, very cool. This uh, 1987 Chevy Silverado. So this is a square body pickup, of course. And I don't know if I've seen the version of this with a blower sticking out of the hood. Look at that. It's got a blown motor. What is the deal with that? I don't think I've ever seen that on a green light. On the green light version of this casting. I think that's new. Uh, serial number in the bottom is 7021 in case you care about that. There's really nothing to look at on the back of the card. It's pretty basic. Nothing to really look at card art wise at all, to be honest. It's just the colors they kind of match with the car and it looks all right. Uh, but there you go. There's your 1987 Chevy Silverado and STP livery. Not a bad looking one. Uh, for some reason though, I will say this, did the square body Chevys, um, you know, fan favorite. Everybody loves the M2s. Everybody loves the Auto World square body Chevy. And of course, everybody loves the Hot Wheels square body Chevy. For some reason, this particular, the green light casting is just really not getting a lot of love. Um, from what I've seen, at least from people collecting them online, there's people that don't seem to be going nuts over the square body Chevys from green light. You know, comment down below. Why? What is your theory for that? Is it because they're not coming up with cool enough liveries? Is it because the casting doesn't look as good? You guys are going to have to let me know and fill me in what you think. I think, well, some of the versions look pretty good. Some of them don't look that great. This STP one looks good. I don't think I will pick it up just because, you know, it's STP livery. I don't know. I'm not really into it. Um, all right. Next is the 2021 Ford Bronco Sport Rebel Rally Winner. Ford Racing Performance Parts. I don't know if I've seen a Ford Racing Performance Part on a running on empty series before. So I believe that's a new one. And this thing's got a pretty cool Bronco livery to it. Uh, this one is 3270. Um, I do have a version of this casting from running on empty series 12. Uh, with a slightly different livery. I think it's from that series. Yeah, I get lost in this. Greenlight uh, green kind of went through a little gap here where they weren't putting out a ton, and then all of a sudden, boom, they put out a ton of stuff right away back to back. And I think that's just because of, you know, the current supply chain issues and all that jazz. But um, this is kind of a cool one. Quite a, lot, quite a lot of detail to it. And I don't think I've got one. I don't know where the other one is. I have one. I don't know what I did with it. So otherwise, I would show it to you out of the package. Uh, but anyway, this one's pretty cool. I would, you know, possibly recommend picking this one up. That uh, Ford Racing livery is... It's a, it's a legit livery. It's pretty cool. I like it. I think it's cool. You guys, let me know. This is one I definitely picked up. This 1967 Mercury Cougar XR7 Trans Am Racer. And I opened it up in the last Diecast Weekly episode. Or at least I think the last one. Depending on when I publish this. Uh, in golf livery. 
pretty cool. Now, green lights, golf colors, I don't think are exactly correct, but it doesn't look bad. Um, and this Mercury Cougar casting is really nice. 1337 is the serial number on the bottom here. This casting has got an opening hood. It's a nice one. It looks really good. The One of the reasons why it looks really good, it really sets it off to me, is that the rims have that cornflower blue um, kind of like lip on them. And I think that really adds a nice touch to this casting uh, with this iconic golf livery. I just think it looks uh, really, really neat. So this one I, I recommend picking up. I have it. Um, I think it's really cool. I couldn't resist grabbing it. Even though I have a f uh, quite a few different versions of this uh, Mercury Cougar already, I like this tooling. Uh, so I've picked up a few of them, and this one, I just couldn't pass it up. Even though I said a million times I'm kind of sick of golf and whatever, and I have versions of this, I still couldn't resist this one just because I thought it looked, you know, that good. So... You guys let me know. That might be my favorite one in the set. Might be this one. And then this one is actually pretty darn nice too. I don't know. Maybe I should have picked this one up. 2021 Chevy Corvette Stingray Coupe. Shell livery. And that does look pretty nice. Uh, the details that really stand out and make this look good, I think, are definitely the the letters on the the lettering on the tires. And of course, that you can see the brakes uh, behind the wheels. I think that's a great detail on this. It really gives it a premium look. Um, this casting, you know, everybody kind of did the C8. And let's take a look at the serial number real quick 4586. So, you know, everybody's done the C8, right? We got, you know, Hot Wheels, we've got uh, Matchbox, Auto World, um, Mini GT, and Greenlight. And Greenlight's version of it is pretty good. Um, it does have an opening engine bay. It does also have a removable roof. I think the removable roof thing is the only knock on it, maybe, because that thing just sits there, and as soon as you remove that rubber band, that thing just kind of flops around. It comes comes right off. But it does look good with the, the roof removed, I must say. But uh, pretty cool. Not quite like an IMSA version or IMSA version of the casting but definitely a cool sporty looking version of the casting it does look pretty good so in shell livery and i think you know i think i might actually have this in shell livery too because they released like a racing hitch and tow i believe with this car in it i thought anyway pretty neat uh let's see next up we got the 1954 Ford F100 with drop-in tow hook. Eh, this one just does not do it for me. It's in standard oil. Um, I don't know. This casting's been released a ton of times, and it just doesn't, you know, it's all right. I think I have one version of it because I try to collect a, a version, you know, one version of every tooling. Um, so I do believe I have a version of it. The, I believe the original Ford F100 that they had... I think that was a different tooling, but it used to be in the Motor World lineup. Anyway, 4350 is the uh, serial number on this one. Uh, this, this one just doesn't really do it for me, but, you know, I'm sure there's there's fans of it out there. Their tow hitch thing uh, is kind of cool. It's not bad. It doesn't really articulate or anything. It's just there. Um, I think you can kind of hook up a car to the end of it, though, and kind of drag it around if you want to do that, but... I don't know. It's okay. All right. Moving on. And the last car in the set. Quite possibly the best car in the set. This is the 1995 Ford Escort Cosworth. I did have to pick this one up. I picked this one up for myself. Uh, this Texaco livery is legit. Or at least it's got to be close to a legit uh, livery for this car. And it does look fantastic. I've got it. I've got one. I already have it loose. It looks great. I highly recommend this casting whenever it's put out. One of Greenlight's best castings of all time, as far as I'm concerned. A lot of detail in this car. Uh, under the hood, there's a lot of detail. It's just, it's done well. Um, 3661 is the serial number. The uh, headlights also have some detail in them, some red paint. It's, it's just... It's pretty awesome. Now, I debated on not getting this because I'm like, gosh, I have like every version of this casting that's come out so far, at least quite a few of them. 
There might be some I'm missing. It's hard to tell because there's no good resource for this stuff. Um, but, you know, I just decided, what, what the heck, I'm going to get it. And now I'm really glad that I did uh, go for it. So pretty cool. All right. So all in all, not a bad set at all. There's only one really car in it that I don't really, or truck rather, that I really don't care for that much. And that's this F100. Uh, the rest of these, I mean, I could see myself adding to the collection. This Bronco I could add. This I already have. This I already have. This looks pretty sick. Uh, this one's, you know, decent. I probably would pass on this one just because of the STP livery. I don't really... Unless it's like a racing livery, I don't like a lot of graphics on it. So that's why these I like, because this is actually like more of a legit racing livery. This, you know, a truck with an STP logo on the side doesn't really do it for me. Uh, this is pretty sick, though, because of that, that livery as well. All right, you guys, let me know what you think of the Running on Empty series. I think it's one of the strongest Running on Empty series that has come out since, come out actually since Running on Empty was a thing. So, Series 13's, I think, a winner. You guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. Which one was your favorite? Are you going to pick up any of these? And, you know, it's always fun to hear some feedback on this stuff. So, thank you guys very much for watching. Check out the Greenlight playlist for a lot more of these unboxing videos. And, uh, you know, you can hit the like button on, on the video. That would be appreciated. Hit the subscribe button for more. That would also be good. And, yeah, you know, thank you. Have a good day.